the one message that I constantly feel compelled to share with people is that wherever you are at right now is okay. Um, I think we so often are, we judge our own experience and we're taught to do that. Um, and we think that if we're not on top of our game, always at the top, always happy, always doing well, that there's something wrong with us and we're not, you know, we're like an anomaly of some sort. And I want people to know that this is nor it's normal, the cycles are normal, but wherever you are right now, it is okay to be there. Give yourself permission to be okay with the fact that it's okay to not be okay. Um, if you, you may have seen it on my social media, I, I shared a couple days ago a post about how I'm not okay right now, and that's okay. You know, I'm moving through some heavy emotions, we all are, because this is bringing up a lot, and that is okay. It is okay to not be okay. You don't have to be perfect all the time. It's okay to be where you're at, and to know that it's temporary, and that you're learning really important lessons when you're in those spaces. So. While it doesn't feel great, I also celebrate not being okay because I know that I'm learning something really important that's going to move me to that next level. So just know it's okay to be where you're at and that it's not permanent, it will pass, and we're all in this together. If you need support, reach out to someone, reach out to me, reach out to Noelle, reach out to your friends, your family, your loved ones. It's okay to ask for support. It's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to be where you're at. We're all worthy of love as we are. You don't need to be perfect to be worthy. You're worthy as you are. So I just think it's really important for people to remember that we're all in this together right now. It's really hard and it's okay. It's okay to be where we are. It's 100% okay. It's not okay to just decide to not do the work but it is okay to be where you are. So. I love it. Such a such a beautiful message. And my favorite part about these conversations, Lita, and this one with you is everything that we're affirming for anyone listening. It's there's no like special breed of human that only they are like the the outlier to the things that we're sharing. Like because we're all just different expressions of the same non-physical energy. Like I love affirming for humanity just truths that I become aware of, you're doing the same thing, everybody that I'm co-creating with when it comes to, to this space, like we're just affirming things that is true for every single one of us. And I want to affirm, you know, something else for everybody out there, which will will make you very excited to know that everything is okay, um, just like Lolita is saying. And just realize that all life is, is life is like a movie. And you guys are all the stars of your individual movie. And even if right now the scene in your movie, just like any movie that you've seen, the whole movie is not just like jolly and like bliss and like everything's like, you've never seen one movie where it's like a whole movie from start to finish, just like happy movie. Like that would get like, oh, we're like, all right, like, is there any drama in this? Cause it's just like, I, okay, the next thing, the next thing comes, just got it. So that's not how any movie goes and that's not how any of our lives go. So regardless of what the scene looks like right now, what I want to affirm for everyone, I want, I want everybody to know to be true is whatever your life up until right now has caused you to know that you desire, which you wouldn't be as clear as you are without all of the challenging experiences and the great experiences, you wouldn't be as clear as you are today about what you would like the, the, the future scenes in the movie to look like. You wouldn't even know that if it weren't for those. So all I want for everybody to, to know to be true is that those scenes that you wanna see in your movie where it comes to like relationships or health goals or career goals or whatever it is, every area of life, like those are already there waiting for you in your movie. Like those are already done. And you're on the scene that you're in right now. Awesome. Whether it's like your most favorite scene or the hardest scene that you've experienced in your life, but just know that there will be a next scene. And you know, the, the sooner that you can not, you know, beat yourself up and make yourself wrong for the scene that you're on and you can just say, okay, this is the scene that I'm on. Actually, it's actually, even though this relationship was the most difficult one that I've ever had, now I know that I want this, this, and this in a relationship. And I'm actually really excited because I heard there's 7.7 .7 billion humans out there. And so I'm sure there's some that also want these things that I want. So I'm excited for that scene in the movie. But I'm going to get back to doing the only thing that I can control is 
what version of Noel, what version of Alita, what version of you out there are you gonna bring to this moment, to this scene? Because really those scenes don't exist. When you get to those scenes, like you'll still be in this scene right here. You're always in the right now scene, the scenes even in the past. Those are memories, those are things, are lessons there, some, some great experience, some challenging experience, but you're still in the scene that you're in right now. So we can all have a lot of peace just knowing that we get to choose what version of ourselves we wanna bring to this scene right here now. All of us get to choose right now, right now, right now. That's all we'll ever get to choose. And just know by choosing that and continuing to move forward, all those scenes in the movie, you'll get to experience those unless you doubt that you will or unless that you choose that you want to stay in this ongoing scene where you're just like, I'm just gonna be angry every day for the rest of my life. It might be a really dramatic movie. You know, it might be a long, like, you know, long drawn out, you know, lots of drama. That's what you want to experience. Nothing wrong with that, experience it. Um, personally, I know there's gonna be drama in my movie in some spaces, but I want a lot of bliss. <laughs> I want lots of fun experiences that are like, damn, this movie is exciting. Like it's all these different places in the world, meeting all these cool different people, having all these fun life experiences. That's the movie for my life I wanna see. So I invite everybody out there to ask yourself what you'd like to see on your movie, knowing you're as clear as today as you've ever been. Great news, you'll be more clear tomorrow, next week, next month. Those days aren't promised to us, but when you get there, you'll be more clear because you're going to live more life today and, and so on. So yes. that's what I want to affirm for everyone because I love all you guys out there and I just want to see all you living awesome movies because at some phases of your movie, I might show up and be a co-star with you and we get to enjoy. Like now we have, you know, co-created scenes just like me and the leader are doing right now. <laughs> Co-creating a scene, a good one. This is a great scene. <laughs>